My name is Paul Chatterton. Um, I teach on this course uh, every year. I really, really enjoy the educational experience because um, it's a really, really diverse bunch of people. The, the thrilling thing about this is that it's a classroom experience, so you get people from all sorts of backgrounds, from community work, from architecture, from working local projects, from working in business and local government. So you've got like an hour and a half with the students, and we have these wonderful debates about kind of dilemmas for the future, about case studies, about what all this means, and we really start to think through ideas. So it's a wonderful, wonderful classroom experience. So for example, today we were talking about, well, we, let's call it post-carbon cities. We were trying to think about what would a city look like after oil, after the age of cheap oil. Um, so this is a big dilemma. So we looked at some of the kind of background, some of the dilemmas, some of the stresses. So we're talking about, for example, population. Uh, energy, climate change, environmental degradation, and social breakdown. And we started to look at some case studies from around the world. Um, and one thing that really we really try to understand is what kind of infrastructure will cities need for the future? What kind of things do city governments and bosses and citizens need to do to make cities much more resilient? And we looked at a number of case studies. So we looked at eco-villages, looked at co-housing developments, we looked at big scale kind of eco-towns or eco-cities, the kinds of things that are emerging in uh, China and the Far East. And then we tried to bring it back down to the local level, trying to think about some of the dilemmas of policy, some of the ideas around localism and the big society that the um, UK government's trying to implement. And I think what all this tries to give students is a sense of engagement a sense of practical application about some of the big things that they're going to have to deal with when they go back to their workplaces and their communities about really how to build more sustainable cities. So that's why I really enjoy it.